and gentlemen, welcome to Fight Lab 48. Next fight on the card is Micaiah Miller versus Jadonis Edwards. Micaiah shocked the Fight Lab world the last time out, coming to us as an independent fighter and beating a very tough, experienced Chase Calloway. Absolutely. But that has not, Jadonis is not faced by that one bit. Even though he's, even though that he has come from a big win over a, a very, very well-rounded fighter at the epicenter of the last fight, he's coming forward, looking forward for this fight to make a name for himself. He's looking forward to actually making, using, using Micah as a stepping stone the same way he used Chase to make a name and make a presence felt here in Fight Lab, in the Fight Lab cage. Let's take this to the cage. Carolina Warrior TV here at Fight Lab 48. Kevin, the master of cool here with Joseph, the juggernaut Pacheco. We're getting ready to tune in to Micaiah Miller, Jadonis Edwards, 125 pound flyweight bout. Micaiah Miller is in the compression shorts and Jadonis in the RLC board shorts. Nice jab by Micaiah. Both these guys look for basically the same thing. They both, both have some of a rapid background. Both look to take it down and add, add it to their short range. Jadonis has got Miller up against the cage right now. Jadonis coming from a, a well-respected MMA camp, Team on Fayetteville. And Micaiah Miller, one of the few independent fighters in the Charlotte area. Edge was pushing Miller really, really hard, and this is this is where that being you know independent is kind of tough. You don't get that 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 cage work that you need. It becomes very unfamiliar to you. A lot of people think MMA is striking against grappling, but they don't realize all the in-betweens of MMA. No, there's a lot of gray area. Well, he, he does have uh, Dijonis up against the cage at this time, looking for a takedown, but leaves himself open for the knee. Edwards is really, really common to rise. Come from Team ROC out there in Fayetteville. Nice kick, nice body kick. Oh, yeah, wow. Edwards. Nice shots. Edwards not responding well. Tries to go for a lateral drop. And Miller goes for a lat drop. It has nothing to hold on. One thing that's exciting about the 125 pound weight class is these guys have energy for days. And they move and they keep on moving. But Jadonis has done a great job of covering because he got rocked pretty hard by, by Jadonis' um, left hand a little earlier. Micaiah spins, him, spins uh, Edwards back to the cage. And Edwards easily reverses it. Edwards looking to get his back off the cage. Miller's continuing to push and trying to control it. Fighting from under overs here. Common position in MMA. Each guy looking for a takedown. Miller looking for a takedown here. He's got the single leg up against the cage. Let's see what he can do with it. Edwards doing a great job of staying right, making sure he does not give it that takedown. Great balance. Great balance display. Nice shot to the body. Pushing up to the head, coming in separation. Forcing him to move inside. Yeah. 
Edwards still just jumping on the one leg as Miller rushing for the takedown. And still no takedown. At, at, at a certain point, you have to think that Miller has to just give up on that takedown. Well, Miller has, he comes from a wrestling background, wrestled at Mill, Mallard Creek High School, three time state qualifier. But he doesn't come from the MMA gym, he doesn't have a striking background. Well, Edwards, on, Edwards, on the other hand, coming from a camp with just a handful, or more than a handful, of MMA fighters. They got Nick Grady, and they got a handful of fighters on tonight's card. Absolutely. And you want to know, the scary thing to me is, is the simple fact that, that, um, that Edwards has such a, a great camp to train out of. And Miller's doing a great job of keeping up with him, and he trains by himself. Yeah. If Miller was to get to, get to a, a reputable gym and to start to hone his skills, he could, there's could no telling where he's going to be. Absolutely. But Edwards, once again, just looking as cool as can be. Another day in the office. Well, he's in the cage with killers every day. Oh, we're too not favor. Oh, nice left hook. Miller, not responding well to the punches. Looking for an arm bar. It looks like he's going to tap. No, he's fighting through it. I thought I seen his hand ready to tap. He's defending well right now. And he escapes. Very, very impressive by Miller. Absolutely. Just for a guy who trains independently. He takes the back of Edwards here. This is how he won his first fight against very, very tough and legitimate fighter in Chase Calloway. I guess Chase, Chase with two fights, two fights ago previously fought for the, um, for the, the title. title. Yeah, Chase was three and one when M M Miller fought him. Miller made his debut against him, and he and he, and he, he won that fight. So he's not afraid to, for the challenge. And he's shown he can he can overcome. He's got, he's got Edwards back right now. He's looking to get his uh, other hook in. Edwards defending the choke well. Edwards did a great job starting off this round, came out really, really hot, kind of rocked Miller, but just didn't capitalize on it. Let Miller have too much time to play, jumped into a bad position instead of, you know, strategically moving. It, once again, when you're going for submissions and going for grappling, the more space you give, the more opportunity you give out your, your opponent to, to counteract what you're doing. Here's Miller again on Edwards' back. He's got his hooks in deep now. He's got his ar right arm in the right position now, looking for the rear naked choke, trying to soften him up. Edwards shook off one hook well. Try and turn around into Miller at this time. Miller, for an independent fighter, you know, he must watch a lot of MMA on TV. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. I'll tell you that in video games. <laughs> but he does he has a lot of, of of good tendencies. Especially his grappling skills. Well, he's a he's an experienced wrestler. But a lot of times that wrestling, straight wrestling doesn't translate all the time right in MMA without the jujitsu training with it. You're absolutely right. You know, you leave yourself vulnerable. Ten seconds. Clapper. Wow, you want to talk about a turn of events for a round. To come out as hot as Edwards did. Spend 90% of that round on, um, on his back. It's going to be a tough round for the judges to score because Edwards landed the damage. Hurt Miller early in the round. He was close to getting the submission. But then the last two minutes of the round, Miller was in dominant position. So who do you give that round to, Joe? You know, if you want to talk about control and great generalship and everything but damage at that point, I have to give it to, to Miller. I mean, he, he, he overcame adversity, took his back, stayed in control the whole time, 
didn't jump into anything that wasn't there. That's why I'm glad I'm not a judge. I don't have to make the decision. Do I score over the, the damage and the near submission finish? Or do I give it to the control? It's, it's a tough one. It is an absolutely tough one. So this, this could be one run going into the third round. It could be two nothing for Edwards. So both these players got to come in here looking for the finish in the third round. I think I saw Moore's corner tell to look for a jab to a takedown. Oh, nice right hook right to the body. R Miller is not used to being on his feet. Oh. He is basically, I mean, lunging in and turning his back every time he comes in. Edwards looks to be the more conditioned and relaxed fighter here, looking for the overhand right. I'm not sure if Miller even wants it anymore. He went for a takedown in deep and just did nothing. It's a scary place to be right now. Edwards played El Matador and just stepped to the side and let the ball go right through. Heavy, heavy leg kick on for Edwards. Miller did not like that as he switches stances at all. That must have hurt. Oh, oh man. Miller grimacing. Fighting hard for a takedown. He gets the single leg, but Edwards back to his feet quickly. Miller's hurt. Edwards doing the exact right thing, though. He's trying to keep distance and trying to establish some type of striking range. Because that's where he's going to win this round and win this fight is by keeping that range. The position he's in right now is not where he wants to be. He, needs, he wants to try to soften him up, get him away from him, and once again, go back to standing. Miller desperate for a takedown right now. Edwards back to his feet again. Miller still fighting for that same single leg. What do you want to see Edwards do here to get off the cage? I would really have to see Edwards just exactly get his back off the cage, try to get an angle to where it's where Miller would have to either give up or put himself in a deeper, deeper, deeper um, position, just like that, spread out, and just there's nowhere to go there. He might have just broke him mentally there. I think coming into the third round, Miller wasn't mentally there. I, once again, that shot that he, take, that he took over here and left oh. nothing. Went for nothing, just shot there. Here's your winner, guys. Jadonis Edwards improves his record to 2 0. It was just too much for the independent Makaya Miller. It was a Man. good fight. Rounds Back one and two were good. Rounds one and two were good, close rounds. Absolutely. But the experience of training with a legitimate camp, cardio, the the mental toughness of training on an everyday basis for a fight. He drug, Edwards drug him into deep water several times and wasn't able to finish it. You can see Miller fighting for that single leg in the third round. When he failed, you get to see him mentally break at that moment. I want to see Miller give him a legitimate camp, though. Train hard and see what this young man can become. Get inside the cage for your official results. who just came out with an awesome victory tonight in the cage. How are you feeling right about now? I feel really good. Uh, all the training and hard work, I, I really got to thank my teammates yeah. and uh, my gym, family and friends, because they, they motivated me. They really Tell kept us, me in there. Kept you in the loop. Tell us about that awesome gym, Team Rock, that you train out of. <laughs> I mean, 
they, they don't train a style, they train for everything. Yeah, yeah. So because of that, I started off as a, a simple wrestler, a little taekwondo, and they, they molded me into what you see. So all the thanks and praise to them. Those guys are amazing. Very good. What brought you into the sport of MMA? What got you through those doors of Team Rock and, and put you there and kept you there? Uh, I did Army Combatives, and uh, they heard about it, asked me to come in, and uh, I came in, and I just went from there. You can pick anyone who is in the UFC right now that you really admire you know, their abilities. Who would that be? Someone that you really respect out there on TV now. Uh, Demetrius Johnson. Yeah. Uh, for his determination and uh, just his spirit, his spirit of fight. And uh, Anderson Silva because uh, his his training, dedication, and his hard work. I mean, it just it just was the biggest inspiration. I know whenever I see a fighter step in the cage from Team Rock, I can expect one thing always, that they're not going to give up. doesn't matter what the decision is at the very end, whether it's win or lose, they never give up. You guys have such a strong determination, and I really respect that. And it was a joy to see you in the cage tonight, so thank you for representing in such a good way. Thank you. All right, we look forward to seeing you back. Thanks, ma'am. Thank you.